Scroll down on your Octopus app and you'll see Intelligent Octopus Go for EVs, Smart Charge, a super low rate and power your home with 6 hours of cheap energy every night. Click Get Started. Next we're doing, you will select Chargers as we're doing this for the Homey Home Pro Charger. So select Charger. Click Get Started. We're doing this for Homey, so select Homey. Now where you've got here, plug your car in at home. You do not need to plug your car in at home. This is for your homey charger as you're integrating the charger to Intelligent Octopus Go. Not your car, the charger. If you have a old style homey type 2 type 2 charger which converts a standard type 2 charger into a smart charger, you will need to plug your car in. But that is only for that use case. So click get started. Next we'll click here where it says set up your charger. Press set up your charger. I've got a Homey Home Pro, so I select Homey Home Pro Charger. Indeed, the only one available, 7.4 kilowatt. Next, we'll click add my car. So, if you are a use, if you have a household which has a use case of multiple EVs, select your car which has the highest of the highest battery capacity. For me, I am just a single household with one electric car, so mine is just the Tesla Model Y. So I select that. Next you'll have here, you'll have a click here to accept the terms and conditions. Click that and press accept. Next we'll press connect device. So it's asking us to log into our Homey account. So we'll click go to Homey login. You will log in here. Again, if you create your Homey account using Facebook, Google or Apple, press the respective button. But I have a standard account, so I'll log in there now. Obviously this will be blurred for security purposes. So once you have logged in, you will see this screen here, which is Homey to Octopus Energy. Confirm authentication. Are you sure you want to authenticate Octopus using your credentials? Confirming authentication will mean the following. Octopus can access your Homey charger using the credentials which you just logged in. Homey will update your tariff to Intelligent Octopus in the tariff section of your app. We do, so we will, have, we will press confirm. This will now indeed spit you back to the Octopus app once it has finished loading that. So you can see the device has connected. Next, we'll press test connection. So the test can take up to 10 minutes. So again, make sure your device must be plugged in home. Again, this is just your charger. It has to be plugged in at home. So we'll press test connection. This process wouldn't take, this process doesn't normally take 10 minutes because again, it is already all set up. So it will click through, as you've just seen there, that was no skipping on the video, that connected straight through. But again, if it does, just allow it, do, do allow it up to 10 minutes, however, it's unlikely for it to take 10 minutes. Next, we will press go to dashboard. Next, if you scroll down to your side here and you'll see click devices, you should, see, depending on which version of the Octopus app you're on, you may see this screen or you may see this screen. Either screens, does not matter, as long as you see we're still in beta. For now, you'll need to go your home you'll need to go to your homey app to control your EV charging. That is perfect. Okay. So press the purple button which says go to homey. Okie dokie. So using the homey v2 app, you'll see the following. Dynamic charging. Make sure that is ticked. What this option does is as you can see there, this auction basically allows Octopus to dynamically charge your car. So this will allow Octopus to give you extra sessions or charge your car outside the standard half 11 to half 5 period. So make sure that you have this option ticked. Charge to add. So in this scenario, say if your car has 50% total battery capacity and you want to charge it to 100%, in this case you would put charge to add. 50% because the battery already has 50% so you would want to add 50% to your car so we'll press confirm there so ready by so when do you, this would be when you want your car to be ready by so if you leave for example at 7 a.m you would want your car to be to have plus 50% charge by 7 a.m so we'll press confirm there cabin preconditioning all this option is is if homey if you have linked your car with your if you have linked homey to your car's api this will allow 
Homey to basically send the API call to your car's pro to your car and start preconditioning. This would be the same as you going into your app of your car and press start climate. Okay. Price cap. So in this option, you can see that for me it is disabled. You you do need to have price cap disabled. The reason being is because Octopus sends Homey a signal to charge, but if you have price cap enabled, Homey will dis will not allow the charge to start because you have a price cap set of 7p. Again, if that needs to be unticked because Octopus at random times, as long as your car's booked in, will tell Homey to start charging. And if your price cap is enabled, it will not allow you to charge outside of your standard hours. Okay, so press confirm. Next, you'll see here, Tariff Intelligent Octopus Go. If you see that and you can click on it and it is showing your respective rates, then you have successfully linked to your, your homie to your Octopus Go account.